Hi everyone, it's me Tammy and we're here with a Mommy Monday. <coughs> I have a one year old now. I've been trying to record this video for like ages now but it's so hard to get us both in like the same frame. So I decided to just come into the room and sit on her bed and hopefully she'll hang out with us for a little while. We are talking to YouTube. <coughs> You want to say hi? Um, oh, yeah. So she's actually 13 months now. Um, I feel like some things have changed and then so much has stayed the same. Sleep-wise, she's still sleeping about 10 to 11 hours a night. Um, actually, last night she slept like 13, 14 hours. But that's because she got her shots a few days ago. So I think she's still kind of recovering from that. Um, she's trying to only take one nap a day, and mommy's pushing really hard for two naps a day. <laughs> when she does only take one nap a day, it's like two and a half hours, so it's a good chunk of time. She's totally fine, guys. <laughs> the bed is like three inches off the floor. Um, so yeah, we're on that. If we stay home consistently, then she does take two naps. I am able to do that. But if we go out and I kind of throw her schedule off, then she's only down to one nap, which sucks big time. Um, Food-wise, she is on... She's not doing formula anymore. She's playing with my vanity right now. Um, so we stopped formula. We stopped it about... Um, I'd say completely like two weeks ago. But we cut back on it dramatically about five weeks ago. Um, basically, we were just trying to finish the can that we had left because those suckers are expensive. So she drinks whole milk now. Um, I do try my best to give her the organic kind. She drinks about 18 ounces a day. Or at least that's what I try to limit her to the past few days. <gasps> you got it open? She got my vanity open. I didn't think she, she knew how to do that. Anyways, um, so I try to limit her to like 18, 20 ounces a day, but in reality, she kind of pushes for like 24, 26 ounces in a day. Um, I try to cut back on the milk so she'll actually eat some real food. Real food is kind of like a pain now. If it's not fruit or eggs or french fries, she doesn't want it. We try really hard to like just change things up <laughs> on a regular basis, but she's just at a phase where which I've heard is going to last a while, where she's quite picky with what she eats. So, um, yeah, we're just trying our best, just trying things out. She loves fruit, so fruit is what we go for the most. She'll have waffles sometimes, so we often have waffles for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. What can you do? As long as she's eating, I'm not really going to fight her too much. She also likes rice and chicken and turkey. Um, so she does like meat quite a bit. You want to come here? Um, she is not walking yet. She'll take like a step or two towards things, but she's not full out like sprinting. Um, but she stands on her own just fine. She says, what's that? As you guys just heard. She says, mama, papa, dada, baba, bobo. Um, she'll repeat a lot of things that we say to her too. Like she likes to repeat um, the end if we're reading a story. When we get to the end, she'll say the end. Um, I'm trying to think, she says a lot of random things. <laughs> um, she is 22 pounds now. She's 31 inches, so she's super, super, super long. Um, I don't feel like I have a lot of new things to show you guys. She is obsessed with this VTEC dollhouse that my mother-in-law and father-in-law got her for I think it's her birthday and I highly highly recommend it as a toy I'll insert a picture of it here um so that's probably her favorite toy she's been playing with that non-stop she's also she's playing with her hamper now she's also obsessed with a um tent that my sister got her for Christmas um, I'll also put the link to that here. It is from Target. And it is just adorable. It's like a little tent where she sits in there and plays with her dolls. Yeah. Ooh. 
and in mommy world i'm obsessed with one thing but it's like next to impossible to show you guys how to do it or how it works um because it's a jacket that's made for the car now before you safety mamas get on me it is made for safety for the car in other words the harness touches your baby at all times it's super cool i'll put a picture of it here and i'll also have a link below to the youtube video as to how it works it is bad ass i tell you um it's so helpful because it's really cold here now and the um taking her jacket on and off on and off was just a real real pain so essentially what this jacket does is it unzips from the arms all the way down so the sides come up so you pull the baby's arms out and then you lift the jacket up so her back is touching the car seat and then you can lift the front up too so you can put the harness on properly um i feel like telling you how it works just doesn't do it justice but um when you see the video you'll get what i mean um i think that's it she does still have some baby food like she'll often have like the sweet potato ones or the carrot ones because i just it's what she'll eat so i do <laughs> she's taking her clothes out of the hamper um so i just kind of try my best with what i can her favorite snacks are by plum and sprout bless you honey bunny and it's like these teeny fruit things she really likes it <laughs> She's making noises to get my attention. Um, I feel like that's it. We're going to our first Gymboree class today. I hope it goes well. We've never done anything like that before. And I feel like she just needs to be a little more social. Get around kids more. So we'll see. You want to say bye? Ailes, you want to say bye? Say bye bye. Are you saying bye? She also blows kisses and waves hi and bye. Excuse the messiness of the room. All right, guys, that's my Mommy Monday. If you guys have any questions or any advice, that'd be very helpful. Bye, guys.